Welcome to Libra Computers, where learning is fun. In lesson 1, we had taken a tour of CorelDRAW interface. CorelDRAW is a software that has many exciting tools, which are very important to design, logos, flyers, pamphlets, leaflets, signs etc., or design any graphics and illustrations. In this lesson, we will go through some tools, which help in drawing shapes. With Corel Draw, drawing basic shapes such as triangle, ellipse, rectangle, polygon is quick and easy. So let's start with the session. Open Corel Draw. Once Corel Draw is launched, create a document as shown in lesson 1. All the tools you need are easily accessible from the flyouts in the toolbox that is, the rectangle flyout, the ellipse flyout, and the object flyout. The first tool for today's session is Rectangle Tool. These two tools allow you to draw perfect rectangles. The first one is Classic Rectangle Tool. And the second one is Three Point Rectangle Tool. They result in exactly the same rectangles, the difference lies in how you use them. So, there is no reason to use them both, just use the one you like best. To draw a rectangle using Classic Rectangle Tool by dragging diagonally. In the toolbox, click the Rectangle Tool. Drag in the drawing window until the rectangle is the size you want. If you want to increase the thickness of the rectangle drawn, you can do so by going to Outline Width in the Properties bar and change it. To draw a square, click the Rectangle Tool. Hold down Control and drag in the drawing window until the square is the size you want. Here are some tips, you can consider while working with the rectangle tools. You can draw a rectangle from its center to outward, by holding down shift, as you drag. You can also draw a square from its center to outward, by holding down shift plus control as you drag. You can draw a rectangle that covers the drawing page, by double clicking the rectangle tool. Now let's see how to draw a rectangle, with 3-point rectangle tool. Select the 3-point rectangle tool. In the drawing window, point to where you want to start the rectangle, drag to draw the width, and release the mouse button. Move the pointer to draw the height, and click. To adjust the size of the rectangle, type values in the object size boxes on the property bar. To change corners of the rectangle or square, to rounded, scalloped, or chamfered corners, select the rectangle or the square. Click on one of these buttons on the property bar. First one is round corners. This produces a curved corner. Click on it to apply round corners. But the corners don't change. This is because the corner radius is zero. So increase the corner radius from here. Now see the change. This lock button, applies corner radius to all the corners of the rectangle. If you remove the lock, it will apply corner radius to individual corners of the rectangle, like this. The second corner is, scalloped corner. It replaces a corner with an edge that has a curved notch. The last one is, chamfered corner. This replaces a corner with a flat edge. Here is a quick tip for you. You can modify the corners, of a selected rectangle or square, by using the shape tool. Wait a minute. What is shape tool? It is a tool, that lets you edit the shape of objects. Select the shape tool. Click on the rectangle. You will get nodes. Click on one of the nodes and drag it inwards. You can also give scalloped and chamfered corners for the rectangle, using this tool. If you prefer to modify only one corner, hold down control, then drag a corner node outside the shape. Let's do a quick review. In today's session we have covered, rectangle tool, three point rectangle tool, and shape tool. The rectangle tool lets you draw rectangles and squares. 
The three-point rectangle tool lets you draw rectangles at an angle. And the shape tool, lets you edit the shape of objects. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe our channel.